We are sailing on the oak vessel Niels Jonsson from Høygarnes. The boat is a fishing vessel in the winter time and does tourist excursions in the summer, both whale watching and sea angling, an established family business. Here we see them drawing in the nets and tidying them up. We are going to examine how the nets function down in the water and how the cod behave around them. Whether they are cast onto the sandy seabed or in the seaweed beds, it's hardly surprising that with this visibility the cod get caught in the nets. This cod has got stuck in the net and has given up the battle. This shoal has swum straight into the net. Although the nets are almost invisible, some fish manage to detect it and try to find an escape route. The cod, despite popular opinion, is far from cod stupid. Despite the numbers that swam into the net, surprisingly few actually get caught. We can estimate that many fish who get caught in the nets manage to wriggle their way out. And it's a premise of the theory of evolution that animals learn from these escapes. It's behaviour that's hard to prove without careful scientific research, but we can observe how some of the fish swim below the nets, escaping capture, and some over the top. Those, however, that are unfortunate to become ensnared have little chance of a reprieve, yet fight to the last gulp. And others successfully fight for their freedom and live to face another day by the skin of their gills. This female has swum right into the net but seems to sense the danger. She slashes out briefly, then becomes more careful. Realising that this is a one-way street to oblivion, she quietly sneaks out in reverse gear. At this stage it's impossible to judge whether we witness here signs of logical thought, instinct, or just plain old good luck. And take a look at this fellow. He's chosen the right spot to escape through the net. The wolf fish, however, is the mastermind of the fishy world, as far as we know. He has a whole fused skull like us, very rare in fish. Despite the diver's efforts, he's far too smart to be tricked into the net. 